Hi, I'm Dr. Roger Waltzman, Chief Medical Officer of Indaptis Therapeutics. People often ask biotech companies about their timeline. Developing a drug like Decoy20 is a journey. It typically takes years of clinical trials before it gets the green light from regulatory authorities such as the FDA. But here's the exciting part. We're already seeing promising signs. In the patients we've treated so far, we've noticed a positive response. Blood samples show a spike in key proteins for 24 hours after we infuse a patient with Decoy20. These proteins play a crucial role in kickstarting both the innate and adaptive sides of the immune system. The innate immune system is the body's quick first defense against infections and cancer, but has limited power. The adaptive immune system takes over if needed, specifically targeting the type of infection or tumor. Both parts of the immune system are needed for a treatment that will work for a long time. Currently, we're in what's called phase one of clinical trials. This is the early stage of drug development. Our focus is on determining the optimal single dose of Decoy20. We also plan to explore multiple doses to effectively manage cancerous tumors. As we progress, we're honing in on specific cancer types such as liver, colon, pancreatic, and others to see if Decoy20 shows exceptional effectiveness in one or more of these. It's a step-by-step -step process. Later in 2024 and 2025, we aim to explore combining Decoy20 with other drugs to see if we can maximize its potential impact on cancer. Ultimately, our goal is to find out if Decoy20 makes a real difference. We'll be looking at whether patients live longer and enjoy a better quality of life compared with standard therapies. This is the crucial data that regulatory agencies such as the FDA consider. In conclusion, our journey with Decoy20 is about meticulous research, patient safety, and commitment to improving lives. Thank you for being part of this journey, and we'll keep you updated every step of the way.